Today I will be building the greatest theme park of all time in Planet Coaster. The rules of this are simple. I'm gonna build a brand new park with only $8,000 and I must survive for one full hour without going bankrupt. But every five minutes, I'm gonna spin this wheel and must deal with a random disaster, like building a giant wall of toilets through the park or charging children $1,000 to enter. Using only the $8,000 plus any very costly loans that you can take out, I must get this park through one full hour of business. Here we go. We're gonna start with this straight line. Oh God, nope. Well, as straight as I can get it, okay? Let's get at least one ride. Whirly gig. Everybody loves Whirly gig. Here, we'll put the staff building there. With, oh shit. Uh, what was that? Am I being invaded by the Mongols? What was that? Was that the ride? Was it a train? I wanna get another ride in. We'll get wild blue. That looks cool. Oh my God. <laughs> it's just this weird bulge in the line. Sweet. This park's looking great, dude. What are people saying? Great free free entry. No, 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 no. Five and three dollars for, for kids. Is there anything else I like need right now? I don't think so. Oh, staff, 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 staff. Ah, uh, where do I staff? I don't remember. Oh, time's up. Nerf number one is if I get something easy right now, I can build up so much momentum in the first 10 minutes. I have to. God damn it. At least it's continuing the straight line. This is okay. That's the ending. So I'll have to move the rides there. Sorry, everybody. We got to close down. We got to do some maintenance. All right. <laughs> cool. Why? What is the horn? Why is there a war horn? It's terrifying. Flatten the ground. I don't think I can over here. Oh, I can. Oh, I can go all the way to there. Wait, I'm losing so much money from this. No, this is. I should only have to go here. That's the end of the map. Flatten the foundation. Oh, God. Dude, I've wasted so much money on this. Jesus Christ. Gee, I really love walking 32 miles for this ride. People are gonna love my ride, okay? Okay, why can't I connect? What do I do? How do I get it to connect? I have to get it to connect to here. But the land's all fucked up. We can fix this. Uh-oh. Uh-oh, I ruined the path. Hold on. Hold on, hold on. Maybe? Shit, all of it's not working. Hold on. Okay, and then... What the hell? And... And time! Perfectly timed. We lost like $4,000, but the park will actually be functional after this. If this one isn't too bad, then we're in great shape. Ha! I don't have any janitors. I do need to hire one though. I guess I'll hire a janitor and pay him the max amount of money. Now, before I hired this very expensive new janitor, I needed to know his name. So I opened up the AI text generator Novel AI, who will now generate the most scientifically accurate name and background for my employee. Doug Doug opened up a brand new theme park. It was very long and the people loved it. The first person he hired was a legendary janitor named John, who had worked at every other theme park in history because he was so good. But before we could even ask him how to set everything up, John went on strike. I don't want this job. John sucks. We're replacing John. John's fired. He's trying to strike before he's done anything. First person he hired was a legendary janitor named Janitor. <laughs> Fine. Send it. Wow. I just got hired and immediately got the biggest bonus of my life. Thank you, Mr. Doug Beast. Don't worry. I know it's you, John. Here we go. I'm gonna hire this janitor. Doug, you're mispronouncing the Jan part. It's European, so it's like John. John. Oh, janitor. janitor. Okay, let's get that name correct. And now the janitor, we have to pay the full amount. $2,000 a month or a week. I don't know how often. Okay, is he at least doing something? <laughs> God, these people are gonna be so fit by the time they get to the end of my park. I think people are gonna love it. Hey boss, my name is definitely Janitor and not John. All right, thanks Jan, glad to have you here. What do I do? I guess I need some trash cans. I need them along the whole great line. The great line of Doug, what is my park called? The theme park was named the theme park. Okay, cool. Okay, the great divide on the theme park. I need trash cans on it. There's so much trash. Do your fucking job, Janitor. These people are insane. They're just walking along my amusement park, dumping trash everywhere. Hey. Clean up your fucking trash! His name is Jan, not John. It's pronounced John. He's European. What is this? Why am I paying you? <laughs> Why are you here? <laughs> the park is losing money right now. But now that my two rides are back up, I might be doing okay. I can't wait to celebrate John to the janitor's birthday in January. <laughs> Doug. If he is European, I have a proposal. Instead of John, I raise you John, but pronounce Jan. Janitor? How do you say Jan in the European language? We are looking at how to pronounce this name. Jan, Jan, or in English, generally speaking, it is often said as 
John. That's not, it's not helpful. I wanted to know how to pronounce it. Not, hey, here's three options, man. <laughs> is it Yonader? Yon? Wouldn't it be Yan? It'd be Yanader, right? Okay, next one is... This is fine. It's just probably expensive. It's a pool for Yan. He doesn't deserve a gigantic kiddie pool yet. He's been walking past all the trash. I guess he's been walking towards the trash. This part will be Yan's swimming pool. Keep an eye on my money. Make sure I don't go bankrupt here. Oh my god, I'm burning a lot of money here. How much money I spent? Oh my god, I'm almost done! Ah! Okay, we gotta take out a loan. $10,000. That's it? I'm sticking with this for now. Is this deep enough for the pool yet? I've spent so much money. It needs to be bigger. This is like a quarter of the map. What are you talking about? This is gigantic. Look, let me put water in. <laughs> this is the worst swimming pool. <laughs> Uh, is this good? This is fine, right? I'll fill in the gaps. Dude, this is cost like $3,000. Nobody's even gonna use it. Oh, wait, I, I don't have to pay him. I'm still paying him. His workload is low, and I'm paying $2,000 an hour. 80. You're getting $80. It's pretty to look at. Well, at least people have something to look at when they're walking down to the rides. I spent so much money on this goddamn... What? What? Why? What, what happened? What happened to the pool? No! Do I have to make it deeper? <laughs> this sucks. Doug? I think he's a spamnik, which would make it pronounced Hamnita. <laughs> okay, all right, hold on. We're gonna look into Janitor's background. This is now canon, but little did Doug know. Janitor the janitor had a dark secret. He liked to watch children go through his cleaning products <laughs> a lot, and then he would eat them. The cleaning products are the children. <laughs> but also, in less horrifying news, Janitor's wife was an evil witch who tried to kill her husband. <laughs> I don't like Janitor. She disguised herself as a tourist and slipped into the bathrooms. After she got done with Janitor, she gave birth to a baby that looked exactly like him. But don't get me started on Janitor's children. Let's just say their story is a little more complicated than this one. The moral of the story, don't trust someone you've never met before, especially if they're a janitor. Janitor. Or even better, don't meet anyone ever. God, so true. Okay, new nerf. Okay, we gotta add pirates. We gotta add pirates shit. Let's go. We're getting too deep into the Jan hole. Let's get back to what this park is really about. Decorations about pirates. John, where is Janitor? Oh my God. Okay, we need pirate decorations. Oh, there we go. Let's get a couple. This guy. I'll have this pirate just shooting people. <laughs> I hate this park. <laughs> <laughs> can I put him just here? Oh, wait, can I put the the people shooting in the line? We already have one pirate themed feature. Charging people money to get into this park is basically <laughs> stealing from them. <laughs> this park sucks. I have one more pirate. I gotta get in. What I want is just for his gun to be poking out <laughs> out of the floor. <laughs> Like you just stand. Like you're just waiting in line and you look down and there's a man with a gun firing into your stomach. Yeah, that's great. All right, we've added a pirate uh, attraction to the Whirly Gig ride. We're looking good. Has anyone seen my child? Last I saw, he was playing with some sponges and blocks. <laughs> just don't look inside of the trash can, okay? The baby eating was taken out of context. It's more complicated than you all think. <laughs> don't let the media distract you from the truth. Okay. Do your own research. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Do your own research, all right? Don't tell the mainstream media that eating children is bad. Everybody thinks that my park is too expensive. I'm not even making money. The park costs $3 for children. How is this too much money? Okay, we'll go down to $3. I'll give the kids down to $1 because they're going to get eaten anyways. How do I make more money at this point? Like, they're they are destroying me right now. There's litter. I actually need to hire another janitor. Okay, I am hiring... A second janitor, quick pause. Then Doug hired a second janitor whose name was janitor number two. He hated the job, he wanted to quit every day, but couldn't because he needed the money. So he kept working there. Then one day, one of the security guards saw him eating a child. What is wrong with my janitors? Just do your job, clean trash. What is wrong with these people? Hey Doug. I'm have a great time at this park, but someone needs to clean up these half-eaten kids. How am I supposed to know that I keep hiring cannibal janitors? Canitors. I love this park. It is its own daycare. A wonderful person introduced himself as Jonathan and offered to watch my kids <laughs> in the daycare while we walk to the right. I need to make a sign. Do not let your children near the janitors. We need warnings. The next nerf. I need a nerf that doesn't cost me a shitload of money so I can actually make something here. 
Okay, that was where some of my money was coming from. Mm, people don't need food. Not when you have children to eat. Okay, that's one burger shop gone. Okay, sorry, buddy, you're fired. Wait, actually, because I fired my burger guy, I can actually afford a cop, which will maybe arrest Jonitor. I am ready for this anti-baby-eating cop to fix things around here. Doug was tired of all these baby-eating janitors, so he hired a new head of security named Headmaster. He was a fat guy wearing glasses and he had a beard. He wore a suit and tie. He was strict, but he made sure everyone was safe. Headmaster is at least the kind of name where you know he's not going to tolerate baby eating. For people who are coming into the park right now, what are they saying? There's not a lot to do. There should be more scenery. What a terrible view. What are you talking about? I gave you a whole kiddie park over here. There's like an entire swimming pool for you to look at. I am going to put a bunch of cheap decorations for people, okay? They're going to love it. There's not much scenery here. How is she complaining about that? Look at all this cool stuff I made for you. Okay, that was a kind of brutal. I mean, I didn't lose that much money. I'm theoretically okay. No, <laughs> I need that. I need that for money. That's fine. I can replace them with hamburgers. We can make money off food. As a reminder, I still get to take out another $10,000 loan. Then I have to pay even more money constantly in interest. One day, Doug saw something terrible. Let's quickly learn what I saw. Maybe this is related to the rides. There was a fire, a very big fire. Lots of people are trapped inside, including a bunch of babies. Why are there so... Doug ran over to help. When he got to the fire, all the baby's parents were standing around screaming. <laughs> Jonitor likes eating them well done. Okay, we're gonna get rid of all the rides. Wait, not get rid of, I just have to close them. I can keep them around and reopen them later. Close, close, close. Guys, don't worry, you can still hang out in line and get shot by the pirates. <laughs> this is... Okay, how do I, I need, I need hamburgers. This is the only way I have to make money. Hey, hey, hey! Okay, he was- I saw him eyeing these children. Chief Beef, do you guys want food? Eat some food, please. Hey, boss. Was wondering if we could do a children get in free day. I think it might boost revenue. <laughs> I have no other ulterior motives. <laughs> no, get motives. the fuck out of here, janitor. I'm not enabling you anymore. Okay, hopefully these generate some money, because I have to pay a bunch of staff for this. Yeah? Okay, looking good. Doug, are you sure that the burgers were actually made of beef? <laughs> I am trying to keep this park afloat and to minimize the number of babies who are eaten, okay? I am doing my best here. <sighs> I don't know how to make more money in the meantime. The rides being closed is terrible. I'm not- Gift shops, gift shops! Dick save the US from the John Nibbles. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, I will not be returning to your park until management does something about the rampant cannibalism. <laughs> also, I will be reporting this to the Better Business No, Bureau. no, we're fine, dude. We're perfectly legal. Look, I literally- They're not even doing their jobs of cleaning up trash. They're just- Eating babies. Hey, Doug. Jane from Janitors R Us. Thanks for hiring our two lowest rated janitors. <laughs> Couldn't figure out why no one liked them. You have any idea? I swear there are less children leaving the park than entering it. Headmaster is going to get to the bottom of this. What are, what are people saying? Lots of damaged things. No drink shops. Someone needs to build benches. What are you talking about? Why would you need to sit in my park? Fine. I'll build you a bench. Jesus. Okay. Now that's a happy customer. The next... Nerf is... This is easy. Not as many people can take the ride, so I can't make quite as much money, but I can make some money. That's what matters. Q setup would be invalid. Oh shit, only $200. I need the money. Add new loan. I can't take 10,000? Okay, I'm taking 5,000 and 1,000. Okay, we only have $6,000. That's bad. That's all I have to survive for 25 more minutes. There we go. Okay, so the, the Q can be two total lengths. My rides are back up. Doug, why did I find a finger in my burger? And I can't find my baby after she talked no. to Jonita. Nope, that's a hoof. It's a normal cow burger. Don't be alarmed. What are people saying? I wish this park had a toilet. <laughs> These are ridiculous. These people can't be pleased. We have a toilet, okay? It's right here. Oh, that's the staff building. Wait. Do I have a toilet? Are there toilets anywhere? <laughs> Oops. <laughs> okay. All right, well, that was fair. Let me throw a toilet up real quick. Okay. Hopefully they stop complaining. Jesus. Charge for toilets? Yeah. You want toilets so bad? It'll cost you $1. How do I get cash flow positive? This is bad. The next nerf is... I have a gigantic water feature. We don't need this. Maybe they'll be cheap. We gotta cut costs. I'm putting the water features first and then we're doing a round of layoffs, okay? Many guests are thirsty. Go to the fucking toilet. Wait, this is only $10. This is easy. I'll add some extras. This park fucking sucks. <laughs> you just get drenched before the pirates shoot you. Stop. Well, this was still only like a hundred bucks, right? Yeah, now the guests won't be thirsty. See? <laughs> they love it. <laughs> what are you thinking? I've seen bigger and better parks. 
Okay, I need another one. Do these people even like it? There are no drink shops in the park. Just open your mouth. You were in a monsoon. I'm gonna fire Tiki Cheeky. Sorry, Tiki Cheeky. You're out of here. Oh my god, I demo- what? Wait, I made money! I'm making money! Oh wait, or this is because I sold everything. Theoretically, we cut some overhead, we fired some people, we got this. Okay, one chief beef. We can afford one. We'll put it here, near the toilet. Wow. The Halloween decorations in this theme park are so realistic. These tiny skeletons look like they have actual bits of flesh on them. Love the details. We do authentic decoration, okay? I keep asking people why the lake is named Child Skeleton Lake, but no one seems to know. No, 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 it no, no. It must be an That's... old Native American it... name. No. <laughs> <laughs> Look, there's times when, as a businessman, you have to say, I'm gonna protect the children instead of money. So I'm gonna charge way more for children. Capitalism is a real win-win here. <laughs> Honestly, I didn't lose much money there. This is technically doable. I can make it to an hour. I am the greatest theme park hostman of all time. I am the headmaster. The headmaster's talking about me as an octopus. Okay, the AI will tell me what to do. Doug said, here's the secret to how I saved the theme park. I crawled inside the fire and it was really hot and scary and filled with smoke and I almost died. And then I found the babies and carried them outside. And then we put out the fire together. Headmaster was impressed. I just have to save the children. I can do it, chat. Next nerf. Something cheap, something easy. This is only a problem because my park spans the entire property. That's fine. We can do it. Ready, set, go. Okay, coasters. The cheapest one is $700. Okay, that leads tons of money left for the track. It's $100 per track? We're gonna be fine. I just have to make a lot of money from the cheap beef. $900. $700. $250, $200. $200. I mean, can we make it? How much of the, the park we covered? <laughs> Shit. $100. $50. I can't even afford this. Maybe I'll make a lot of money right now. $4. And if everybody comes into the park. Okay. Uh, uh, Fucking janitor! My park would have been a roaring success, dude. I've heard so many disturbing rumors about this park. It should be called Six Red Flags. <laughs> no. Look, we, there was, we had a lot of good things going for us, okay? You're focusing too much on the bad of my park. Remember the good things. Like this guy who I've been paying them salary this whole time. Remember the cool ride? Staff building too. All right, well, let's, let's run it back. I got to 45 minutes with a baby eater. I can definitely do an hour, dude. So unfortunately, the great straight line theme park has fallen into bankruptcy just 13 minutes before the deadline. But the good news is I can now fire those psychotic janitors and build a new theme park that doesn't eat any children. This is attempt number two, the Great V Park. And live. Okay, $8,000. Let's do this. We make the giant V. I'm starting with Whirly Gig. People fucking love Whirly Gig. Okay, some scenery. People really like scenery. Tree, tree, ash tree, acacia tree, birch tree, beech tree, banana palm tree. People gotta be happy with all this scenery around. I'll make this toilet really scenic. Free park entry, awesome. We can jack it up. Two dollars, one dollar. Yeah, my park looks great. My V is looking very powerful. Sorry, I'm incredible at Planet Coaster now. That's a pretty good opener, guys. Now we roll an easy nerf. We fucking crush this. Let's go. That's actually not that bad. It's a lot of benches, but i it's not like I just took out a loan. This is doable. People will never complain about having spots to sit. Okay, I have to spend $1,075 on benches. You get a bench. You get a bench. You get a bench. You get a bench. Oh my god, there's gonna be so many goddamn benches. I'm running out of spaces to put benches, man. Hey, would you guys like to sit down? <laughs> it's only $10 at a time, dude. Okay, all right, we did it. I don't have a janitor right now. I gotta hire one. All right. Janitors in play. Quick diversion to figure out the janitor's name. This is the story how Doug Doug finally made a successful theme park, all starting with his new janitor named Bob. It was an extremely popular attraction that everyone seemed to enjoy. He's an attraction. Okay, welcome to the team, Bob. Please do your fucking job. Don't eat any children. We've got the cash. I wonder if I do like a little more scenery. What do, what do people want right now? Okay, people are saying the entry's cheap. $4. And two dollars. Uh, they want more rides. I need more rides. Save money? Yeah, I don't know if I just save money, because I'm actually making money right now. Like, I'm actually doing a good job for the first time ever. I don't want to jinx it. I'm gonna play conservative. I'm saving money. Dare I say one of the best openers I've done in this game? Next nerf. 
Let's keep it going. Honestly, that's not bad. I feel like people probably want bathrooms. Wait, this costs $2,000 though. I'm gonna have to take out a loan. Okay, I guess we'll make Toilet Town down here. Bob, what are you doing down here? There are no people. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. I have $200 left. I just gotta wait a second. As long as I build the 10th one by the time the five minutes is up, we're good. I'm taking it. Okay, we have the 10 toilets. They are built. I just only have 200 bucks. I have to be super careful. If that starts going down, I have to take out a loan. Wait, it costs $100 to run these a month? I'm charging a dollar for the toilets. Okay, watch the money, watch the money. The pathing does not make sense. Wait, what is with this game? Why, the pathing is horrific. Why would I want this? Okay, they're using the toilets. Please make me money. Okay, Toilet Town is actually set up and good to go and maybe is profitable because it does charge $1. There's a lot of people coming to the toilet rides. Your paths are so bad. It's fine, it works. I'll give them a tree for scenery. Okay, Toilet Town is complete. Add drink stores. <laughs> yeah, that's a good call. How much is a vending machine? It's only a hundred bucks. Okay, right before Toilet Town, we have a vending machine. <laughs> up the prices of the rides. I mean, I'm cash flow positive right now. Dude, I just don't want to jinx it. I feel like this is an actual like coherent park right now. Whatever this next one is needs to not be super brutal. You were cash flow positive. Okay, Bob is gonna suck me dry, but at least he'll clean all of toilet town. This is salvageable. Finances, loans, add a new loan, 5,000. Now I go to staff. Bob, we increase your revenue. $2,000. Okay, that's fine. I'm gonna up the price of the rides. We gotta crank this up. This goes to six. Ticket price, this goes to 11. This isn't really making much. I'm going to 450. And then I have the capital to do a track ride. I think I gotta do a track ride. Track rides are supposed to be dope. God, I'm losing a lot of money here. This is fine. Nobody panic. Auto complete. Wow, what an awesome ride. Incredible. 20 minutes in, I'm feeling confident. Here we go, next spin. Okay, so I will lure a bunch of customers out somewhere and then trap them. How do I get them onto the island? Do I just pick a random spot? Let's say I need at least five people on Divorce Island. Okay, I've got $1,000 and a dream. Here we go. Bob, you're getting paid 50 bucks an hour again. Oh, you guys look like you're ready for Divorce Island. Okay, we got a couple of happy divorcees here. All right, we just carve that out just a little bit. That's looking nice. And we add the water. <laughs> they love Divorce Island. And the funny thing is they could get off the island from the benches if they wanted. I guess they love it here too much to leave. Have a good time out there, you lovebirds. In the meantime, people will use Divorce Island as a spectacle. <laughs> Little tourist attraction. Uh, how are we doing on money? There aren't enough rides. I've seen bigger and better parks. How Wait, is this thing open yet? Okay, this thing's open. People are gonna love this. If they walk past Divorce Island, they can come to my track ride. Okay, people are having a good time around Divorce Island. I mean, people love the benches in this park. Nobody is coming on this ride. Why don't you love this ride? It's great. Go in, go in. You can be the very first customer. Oh, no, he wants a bench. That park's looking pretty good, dude. Next nerf. That is a problem. I might have to take out another loan. I'm like just barely cash flow positive right now. Okay, I just need to survive for this five minutes with all prices lowered. This is doable. Six and four. The bathrooms, you are only 50 cents now. This is gonna be bad. Nobody's riding your track because it's a single hill. Well, they have, their standards are too high. Oh my God, this is already so cheap. Okay, all prices are halved. I am still making money, I think. Why does nobody want to ride my awesome cart? This is so cool, there's a whole hill. Go in, pay, why? Why don't people like it? It's lame as hell, how dare you? The bathrooms are more popular. Is the bin in the way? No, 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 that didn't stop anybody else. Your cart ride sucks. Well, I don't have the money to make it better. Go in, go in, go in. Go in, go in, go in. Oh, come on. It's right there. Is this blocking it? Was that blocking it the whole time? God damn it. It's a lame ass ride. Stop talking shit about my ride. I worked hard on it. You start the ride out and you're thinking, wow, they put a tree in here. Very cool. And then you turn around the bend and you're like, whoa, it goes uphill too? And then here is when you realize it also goes downhill. And that's when your mind's fucking blown. And you turn around and you get another like five, ten dollars of value as it swoops around the beginning. I've lost like 250 bucks. I think I can take out the $1,000 loan. I'm gonna do that next, 1,000. Okay, the prices are great. People really like the prices right now. They're gonna be upset in a couple minutes. Hey Doug, Bob the janitor here. Appreciated the brief bonus. By the way, why did all the training videos end with you saying now get out there and don't eat children? <laughs> See, don't worry about that. We had some issues with the previous staff. 
Quit talking shit about my ride. Chat, everybody give compliments to my cool track ride for the next, uh, 30 seconds. Mods, ban anybody who doesn't describe cool features about it. Ready, go. I love how it sucks. That doesn't count. It's better than Disneyland. Thank you. It goes uphill. Thank you. Okay, next nerf. Something easy. Hi, Duke Dregs Cartwright here. I do suck. I'm boring and you, you should- shut up, Cartwright! I don't pay you to give me your opinion. Okay, this is fine. If we get two easy ones, we're good. Somebody fire that cart ride. No, I need money! I need money! Okay, this is fine. So, entry-free food go down, the ride cost will go up. That's fine. I can't believe the track goes uphill and downhill. What a great value. Thank you for the feedback. Oh, that's so bad. That's so much money. I love the exit. <laughs> that doesn't- it's a good ride. I've got it. I put the burger shops next to the cart ride so that people go over for free burgers and they stay for the carts. Okay, first off, all the rides are going back up to normal prices. 11, 6, 450. I'll keep the cart at 350. I'll make no, $4. It's worth $4. I'm not making it free. Okay, entry and food is all free. I also have to have free burgers. I'm going to put them near the cart ride. Each burger store is 200 bucks. I need a loan. This is last loan right here. I need to have this 10 grand go all the way. 1 2 3 4 5. Have you ever heard of a sensory deprivation tank? Basically, they block all sound and light in an effort to take away all stimuli. I remember that because I went on your ride and felt nothing. Oh my god! Huh? I'm not sure why people are complaining about needing the bathroom when this heaping pile of shit cart ride is here. It's clearly the best <laughs> spot in the park to leak the lizard. Look, people are liking the cart ride! Look, there's throngs of fans waiting for it. Look, look at- they're gonna scream in delight. They're smiling, okay? It counts. At least after this, I get to make money from the park and the food again. Next one. Wait, it's zero right now. That means it stays at zero. <laughs> Shit. Whatever, I can at least charge for food, and I'll increase the prices of everything else. This is salvageable. I'll charge way more for my cart ride. <laughs> you're 12, and you're 8. You, you're open. All right, these guys are having a good time, so... Okay, a lot of people are coming to my cart ride. Yeah, you guys down? Okay, they... <laughs> they came to throw trash at my ride! What is wrong with them? Uh, are people liking this? Yeah, okay, we need some scenery around stuff. Uh, here, I'll get a rock. Okay, should be good now. What a park. Okay, they, they like it. Hey, what are you thinking, kid? This park is great. They love the rock. This is costing me a lot of money, but that's okay. As long as I keep making money off the toilet rides. Oh, look, Bob's actually doing a good job. Thank you. Why don't people like the car? It's a good ride. Doug's cart ride is definitely one of the rides ever. It's good. Tell you what, if you thought it was bad before... Okay, now the scenery is there. People are gonna love it. Come on in, everybody. Recently renovated. Yeah? 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 Okay. All right, they're here for the burgers. Whatever. Bob, go clean more. What are you doing, man? What are people saying about the park? There should be more scenery around. Park entry is free. Okay, we need more scenery. Okay, this should be good now. Look at this scenery. People are gonna love it. Clock face. Circle. Okay, they're not gonna complain about scenery with all these circles in the park. Hey, Doug. This is the president. Can you speak about the allegations of your ride being a crime against humanity? It's <laughs> your park may be closed soon if you're not. <laughs> That's fake by news. Then. It's fake news. All the reports I've heard are that people love it my is cart ride. Objectively, a bad ride. But the rock at the end, dude. Fine, I'll add a circle. I think this is the one. I really do. It's 40 minutes in, and I'm barely losing any money right now. That cart's gonna bankrupt you. As a reminder, I can sell stuff. I will never sell the cart right over my dead body. You think I'd get rid of my magnum opus just for a little bit of money? I would never. 20 more minutes. This is the run. Here we go. We'll get something easy here. Make a mountain. Okay, I only have one, but it is $2,000 a month. That's kind of bad. Okay, but I can make the entry fee normal again. Okay, Bob, congratulations. You're making 2000 a month now. Love the trees, but now I can't see the cart right, so now I don't know where to throw my garbage. <laughs> okay. Magic Cats sure is pricey. It costs $4, really? I'm making it two bucks. It's a good ride. I'm literally giving out free hamburgers and people still don't want to go. It's slow. Do I make it faster? 15 miles an hour. Okay, that'll be exciting. Went on the cart ride before they added the rock. After they added the rock, it still sucks. <laughs> it's a good rock. Add another loop or two. It costs like thousands of dollars to expand the cart ride. It's fine as it is. Okay, that is way faster. Honestly, guys, this track looks fucking sick now. And then right into the rock. 
The prices for magic hats are through the roof. It is $2. I'm down to $4,000. I am burning cash quickly. A lot of that is going to my janitor, though. There's trash everywhere. This is IRL Baby Park. The ride is awesome. They're having a great time. Wait, people are actually showing up now. People love it. They're queuing up. Let us ride. Fine. Wow, look at the scenery. Whoa, tree! Whoa! Whoa! What? What? Is that a rock? Whoa! Holy shit, that was awesome! <sighs> I can do this. Next turn, I rip away Bob's salary, and we get something easy. Okay, I'm gonna call in my favor. Can you guys fire Bob? If you fire Bob, I stop paying him 2,000 a month. I am fucked unless we fire Bob. And don't sell my carts. The way this will work is I will have click maps up in, and you guys decide where on my screen to click and then I'll click there. And we repeat for five minutes. Twitch chat, you are in control in three, two, one, go. There's everything in the park. What do you want to click on? Click, 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 click. Okay, a lot of people on park management down here. 55% down here. Okay, perfect. Okay, we're on staff. Go, go, go. Where do you want to click? I'm seeing people at the top right. There's 30% trying to click the cart. Bob is right here. This is Bob. Okay, fire him over there. Fire Bob. Get his ass out of here, chat. Okay, 30% right here on firing Bob. His ass is out of here. We will need to hire a new one if you guys wouldn't mind taking care of that. All right, it's restarted. Okay, I think you're going to go to my cart and increase the price for more money. Good call, chat. And if you want to increase the prices, you could do that. Any... <laughs> no... It's my pride and joy. <laughs> the people love it. There's so many happy customers here. You would do that to them, chat. God damn it. Okay, the whole ride is gone. You stranded like 18 people. How much money did I make? <laughs> Shut up. I made a little money. That's the only that's the only plus. Shut up. That cart was beautiful. Uh it 23 track rides. Are you trying to build another one? I don't have money for this. Guys, I literally do not have the cash. It will auto lose me if you do this. Okay, you clicked on Steam Railroad. This cost $2,800. <laughs> Wait, you're putting it up here? This is where the, my old car used to be. Okay, I'm putting your stupid track up here. That costs so much. Dude, I need to survive in a minute and a half. Sell something else, sell something else. Fine, you clicked on the cart. Sell the track, sell the track. We can survive, go, 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 quick, 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 quick. 76%, we sell? We made $2,000 back. <laughs> All right, so you just burn. <laughs> all right. I don't really know what the point of all that was, but uh, you did lose me about $700. Let's go again. We'll make another one. I can't afford it. Stop doing track rides. I literally can't afford that anymore. Okay, you're doing track rides again. You want the same one. I can't afford this. I am trying to click it, and I can't afford it because you burn so much money. I have attempted to do what you want. I cannot go further. Last chance. You want the raft. It's $900. No. Okay, you clicked raft, but that's time. That's time. That's time. Okay. All right. We're good. We're good. Okay. In five minutes, you managed to burn like several thousand dollars and destroy my favorite cart ride, but I'm still rolling. 10 more minutes and I win. Next spin. No. <laughs> Shit. Okay, I'm putting those where the cart ride used to be. Hopefully they're so far away that nobody goes there. This is still doable. One, two, three, four, five. It costs 400 a month to, are you serious? I have to sell something soon. I can't sell the previous free five ones. That's not allowed. Okay, park entry fee. I can probably crank this up, right? Four. It's, it's, bar it's barely a difference. I can sell chief beef. I can sell all the weird circles. I'm down to 200 bucks. What's the least popular ride? They're all super popular right now, dude. <sighs> okay, I have, to, I have to sell this. That's 1200 bucks. Oh my god! What? There's a lot of overflowing bins. Okay, we don't have a janitor anymore, but that's fine. No! What? No! How did it go down? What the fuck? Where- how did that happen so quick? Unfortunately, I did not realize that if you sell a ride while people are waiting in line, you have to refund all of their ticket prices, which means I made zero dollars from selling that ride and quickly fell into bankruptcy. Hi, Doug. Just hot booted out of line for this ride I'd been waiting on, but this nice employee handed me a $1,200 check. <sighs> it's another loss. So close. Just you wait, I'll be back. And I'll have an even better park with an even better park ride. The cart ride will return. And none of you were invited. So sadly, despite designing a critically acclaimed cart ride, I have once again failed. Only eight minutes before the deadline. But I now 
know this is doable, so we cobbled together some new strategies. First off, I'm gonna start my next run with a roller coaster. They are super expensive, but if I use a pre-built design to get going quickly, I can charge a shitload of money to use it. Next, if I see that a lot of people are waiting for a ride, then I'm gonna jack up the prices until people stop riding it. This way I'm squeezing them for every dollar like a tube of toothpaste. And lastly, anytime I'm actually making a little bit of money, I'll up the game speed to 300% and then try to squeeze out as much profit before the next disaster ruins my cash flow. This is the story of how Doug finally won the theme park challenge. The theme park was named Pepsi Park. Pepsi Park would be a pop culture theme park. Okay, I'm shaping the park after the Pepsi logo. There's no way the janitors can stop this plan. This is attempt three. Go! It looks exactly like the Pepsi logo. Okay, let's get a roller coaster. Let's get some other rides in. Whirly gig, you're my classic. You're always in here. Once you're done testing, I need that to be open. Staff room, I'll put you down here. Restroom, I'll put you here. <sighs> what do I need? Uh, oh, vending. Bins and benches. All right, people are flooding into the park. I can 3X. Couple more seconds. What do I need? What do I need? Take a price. I can do 11. 12. Take it $5. 1600 bucks. I can go a little bit more. Rides? Oh my god, that's a lot of people. I need uh, church money. 150. 75 cents for kids. <sighs> Let's go. Pepsi Park's fucking crushing it. I do need a janitor. I'm gonna hire one and pay a max amount. All right, we're back in it. I'm gonna slow down time so I don't lose as much money on this. I'm going to hire a janitor. Bam, get in there. Congratulations, you are being paid $2,000 an hour. Wait, what is his name? And his first employee was a janitor with a dark secret named Mr. Clean. <laughs> so here we go. All right, asshole, listen up. If you don't eat any children, we're on great terms. I'm getting another ride up. Wild Blue. All right, you are live. What are people saying about this? Oh, I need to crank this up. Okay, you're to 13. We get a little more money here. You have a lot of people. We crank you up a little bit. You're up to six. Yeah, we need to get trees. Let's get some trees in here. At least Doug will make money off all these brand deals, right? <laughs> loan? No, I don't need a loan. I'm doing great. How are we doing on money? I'm not losing that much. Can I just put torches inside of people? <laughs> it's like a spike trap. All right, looks nice. What other things do people want? Hey, I'll put a cannon. Balloon columns? Oh my God, yeah. Let's put that shit everywhere. It really fits the decor. Oh, wait, oops. Eh, that's fine. People will love my balloons. How big is this gonna get? Stop spending money. Well, people will like it, probably. It looks like Pepsi Man. I just want cheap, I need cheap things. Coal lump. Okay, we'll put coal in the ride. There you go, son. Oil drum. <laughs> All right, there you go. Enjoy, we'll fire cannons at the oil. I am firing Mr. Clean's ass. I'm firing his immaculately cleaned butthole. God damn it. Okay, Mr. Clean can stay on the staff, but I'm making him $50 an hour again. I don't have to pay these people well. This is fine. Go. Okay, first thing, Mr. Clean, you are getting a huge demotion. I need a mechanic. I need a security guard. I can add a vendor just by building a shop. Gulpy soda. And now I need a mascot. Who's closest to Pepsi Man? Who looks like this? The princess. I don't think she looks like... I think the, the hamburger. All right, welcome to the team, Pepsi Man. Welcome aboard. I think I'm profitable right now. I'm increasing speed. Oh, dude, we're making a fuckload of money right now. Uh, what do we get? Bumpin' Derby. Oh, shit, this is gonna be sick. Okay, this is too busy. $7. This is still too busy. You're going up to $9. This is too busy. You're going up to $16. This is way too busy. You're going up to 13 What are people saying? It was a shame it was full. I'm not queuing that long. This queue was full. Yeah, we need more rides. What about Roctopus? Yeah, rocks both look dope. You're live? <laughs> Beautiful timing. The Pepsi Man Park is coming together, dude. Me and Mr. Clean, we're a dream team. Next nerf. This is a legit fucking park right now. I've actually gotten good at this game. Uh-oh. This could work. Dude, as long as this doesn't fuck me, we are in such good shape. The very first thing Doug did with his theme park was... Build a roller coaster that went through a giant can of Pepsi. That's a really, actually, a, that's a huge monetary commitment. So we're gonna make a custom roller coaster. It has to go through a giant can of Pepsi. What, is, what does that mean? Balloons, the balloons. Okay, we make the can. Okay, that looks like a can of Pepsi. <laughs> it's so lopsided, dude. Beautiful, indistinguishable. Pepsi man, love it. <laughs> this, this track sucks ass. Wait, I can't go through it. As you can clearly see, I built a roller coaster that goes through a can of Pepsi. Let's go. What kind of Pepsi are you drinking? My eyesight's kind of bad. 
That's honestly the worst thing I've ever seen. Oh my god. I am gonna make a cart ride that is bigger and better. That is my only goal today. To win with the cart ride. Next nerf! I don't even know if that roller coaster is usable. <laughs> that shit sucks. This isn't bad, people just aren't gonna be happy. Hey, Doug. If you make the new track ride as long as you can, then at least it will be useful when you have to sell it to get money back. Over my dead body. Okay, first things first, I move over to the toilets. You guys are now $25. People can't really use toilets, but that's fine. Let's see if people actually use this. Is this even gonna work? Oh, shit. <laughs> this sucks. I am going to redeem myself. I'm gonna make the most badass cart ride of all time. Now, you might be thinking, that ride actually looks kind of fun. But here's the trick. I'm gonna build a second track. <laughs> And this ride will be my prime attraction! And even though the people are gonna want to come ride this cart, the only way to get to this ride is to come the exit of this one. You have to ride my little cart ride! This is my magnum opus! Hey, this looks pretty fun. I've heard good things about it. Be sure to go on Doug Doug's Pepsi Man Legendary Cart Ride. Can you make the first ride free, but the second super expensive so they have to pay to get out? <laughs> <laughs> okay, we'll make my car ride free. All right, 25 minutes in, I'm crushing it. Let's go. I think I'm currently making money. This works. This just helps me. We can continue work on the cart mobile. Oh, sh oops. Okay. Oh, the first guy. No, no, you guys are trapped. You guys are not trapped. You're not trapped. You can go on the next cart ride. No, it's going to be great. Now you can go on the next one. Uh oh. Okay, this strategy might not work. Okay, we got a couple lucky customers. Let's open up the second one. No, guys, you can go in. It's great. Is anybody going on this ride? You guys, it's free. Go on the next ride. It's a good time. Okay, god damn it. Fine. I'll connect them. I bet you this one will still have more business, though. Why don't you want to go on my carts? They can't enter from an exit. Add one normal path in between. Like that? Hey. Ah. Okay, whatever. All I did was work on the carts, but actually I think I made money somehow. Oh shit, I'm at thirteen and a half thousand dollars. I honestly think I could weather any nerf at this point. <laughs> That's not great, but I'm profitable right now. I don't I haven't even taken loans. I have to spend sixty five hundred dollars on benches. So I need to have six hundred and fifty benches. <laughs> okay. We might need to build paths just to fit all the benches. Go. The cart ride, we'll deal with that shit later. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 18, 19, 20. Why can't I make it? Oh my god, where- how do I put them? Is this taking more time? Why won't the- What is wrong with this game? Why can't I put benches? Make a sitting area. Why is it going up? Why would it just decide to do that? I did not press any button to do that. Oh my god, fuck it, whatever. How many benches do I need if each one is 30? 200, okay, I can do that. Guys, this is stupid. <laughs> Took me a sec to kind of have that sink in. This is dumb. This is stupid, what's happening? What are we doing with our lives? What is going on? At some point we're gonna die. On your deathbed, are you gonna look back and be like, I'm glad I watched Doug make 300 benches. Okay, next nerf is... You know where I'm putting those 10 bathrooms? At my cart ride. Cool, so now if you come onto my cart ride, you get to go into Toilet Town forever. Okay, all right, let's get back to benches. Wait, I'm losing money. Why am I losing money? It's probably these rides are costing a shitload. The toilets. No, the toilets are fine. I want people to enjoy Toilet Town. You're still losing money. Hold on, it's probably because of all the benches. Can you just give me a sec? One day we're gonna die. We're gonna think, man, it's been like 10 minutes. <laughs> 10 full minutes of my life looking at benches. Was it worth it? This was going incredibly well. I seem to be losing money now at the toilets. I would rather not close the toilets. I want to beat this in style. I haven't even taken out the loans. It's 100% doable. It's just, it's getting tricky. Okay, next spin. <laughs> That's fine. I can actually buy expensive things. This is doable. Okay, so I got to spend half. It's like $4,500. I'll spend it on pirates. Pirate. Price, high to low. A golden tri- Oh my god. Wait, there's a ship? <laughs> Two. Three, how many do I need? Seven, eight, how many, how many pirate hey, ships? We'll Doug, get it. Thanks for making my day just that little bit better. Hey. It means a lot. You're also, welcome. can you place one chair near the entrance for me, smile? No, but I will place this ship for you. 
Oh my god, this needs to be way up. You're 11 now. Why is nobody coming in here? This is a good, honest American ride. Hey, do you want to come in the cart ride? Why don't people want to come in? Wait, why are my park prices so low? Why aren't people on my cart ride? The cart ride's great. Why does nobody like it? 3x for cash? Oh yeah, I'm making money right now. Let's juice it. Just delete crazy carts. I will never delete crazy carts. Look, people like- Oh wait, this is the wrong one. They love crazy carts. They're screaming and crying with love. The park entrance is not accessible from the exit of Crazy Cut. This is fine. Nobody cares. Doug, can you hire me a captain of one of the pirate ships? Yeah, Twitch chat. You guys can come inhabit and live up here in the ship basement. Okay, I am making money. My park's looking beautiful. People can sit everywhere. 15 more minutes. This is it. This is the one. This is bad. I don't know what this will do. Let's find out. We go to every ride. We start with this one. This ride is not even functioning right now, but that's fine. All right, you have no exit. No exit for you. Oh, these people already have no exit. I can't see anything because of the boats. Move this exit. Oh, that's too much. Move this exit. This is going to be a lot of really unhappy people. So nobody can leave. Everybody just gets stuck once they leave a ride now. Are they going to leave the park? What do they do? At least the benches are still open. Everybody loves Benchtown. Yeah, there's a lot of unhappy people around the park now. I haven't lost money yet. Somehow, people haven't caught on to the fact that I'm, like, kidnapping them. What I'm worried is that once people find out what I'm doing, they're not going to start coming to the park anymore. Like, word is going to spread <laughs> about what's happening. I mean, are they still coming in? I still have people joining the park. I'm a little worried about what happens, and when I get worried, I, I kind of have this impulse to go make benches. Wait, you know, I can make a bench for the people who are trapped. Don't worry, everybody. You're safe now. <laughs> All right, let's go deliver benches to everybody. Here you go. You guys good? Yeah? <laughs> All right. Happy customers now. <laughs> okay, uh, things are a little bad right now, but I think I'm still making money somehow. I don't know why people are putting up with this. There's like a couple hundred people who are stranded. <sighs> somehow we made money. But word will spread quickly. This is highly unethical. You might think this is bad, but I can just replace three of the rides where people can't leave. I think we're in the clear, dude. It's only 10 more minutes. Kill the rides that aren't making money. I will never, ever replace my cart ride. Okay, last 10 minutes. Let's go. What do I replace? The cart ride stay. This one's making a lot of money. Uh, okay, you, we're gonna go ahead and delete you. Sorry, everybody. But it's not all bad. We've got a brand new Chief Beef. Okay, we'll, we'll kill this one. Hey, don't worry, guys. <laughs> you can get hamburgers. I'm killing this cart ride. I don't care. That way, there's only one cart ride, which is the good one. No need for carts when you have more hamburgers. That was the good one. No, people love crazy carts. Look, I'll stop stranding them, okay? After they ride on crazy carts, they get to come to Benchtown. Wait, are people still coming into my park? They love it. Dude, people are going crazy for the new Chief Beef. I think this could work out. This could be profitable. Multiple guests think rides are too expensive. I mean, they're paying for it. I don't care. Many guests are trapped in the park. Nah, they'll be fine. I am still somehow making money. Most of the rides have been turned into hamburger stores and have Half the people are trapped. These people are just being shot with a cannon. You paid like $22 for this. <laughs> God, I love crazy carts. Somehow, despite all this, I have $14,000 still. It's the dream run. Last nerf. I've never reached the last five minutes. We're doubling down. Two nerfs. <laughs> Let it ride. I'm confident. No trash cans. Kids at a thousand. <laughs> I think we know what to do here. We turn the entire park into Divorce Island. I hope you're having a good time, everybody. You're going to be here for a long time. All right, cool. No way in or out. Let's go ahead and jack this kid price up. Oh, everybody realizes they're trapped, I think. I don't need a janitor when I can just delete all the trash cans. Look at how much fun they're having. They're screaming in joy. Well, nothing to do in the last three minutes besides turn this into a little island. You know, let's just, well, let's, let's just let, let this ride. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to Divorce Island. <laughs> the greatest theme park ever built. Oh, the people are so happy here. And I didn't take out a single goddamn loan. This took like 25 hours, but I did it. I'm so good at this game now. They love it here, especially my cart ride. 
<laughs> oh. Godspeed, Pepsi Park! And that's how I developed Divorce Island into the greatest theme park of all time with over $3,000 of profit. Beat that, Jeff Bezos. Mm -hmm. Thanks for watching, everybody. Be sure to subscribe if you don't eat children. And be sure to join us next time when we build a zoo that charges animals to use the toilet. As a little reward chat, you guys get to ride the best one. Here we go. This ride sucks!